Hello everybody and welcome to the Genial YouTube channel. I received this email from Scott Benson. Hello Paolo, I am working with your SpaceMath revision 2.4. I have a TonGen that takes a NEG input. I see connections at the bottom, one say DTMF. How can I connect a TonGen? Thank you. He is referring to this product, the SpaceMath. It has a USB connector and this operates as UB, a USB keyboard. When you connect USB cable, it's recognized as USB keyboard. And you have the alphabet and then um, backspace, arrow keys, left key, right key, down, up. But you can redefine all the keys to any other key or combination. But this is beyond the scope of this video. Scott Benson noticed that there is here a room for a SKU terminal and it's marked plus 12 VGND DTMF. He was asking if on a DTMF you can connect a DTMF tone generator so that for each key press you get a tone B, B, Bobby. There is also room for other parts which are normally not mounted and also lots of pads here they are marked x1, x2, rx1, rx2 we see gnd there is room for a voltage regulator and this is because lots of customers ask for custom space matter custom boards so I design a versatile PCB you can connect other hardware. There is room for an optocoupler, capacitor, solder jumpers. And you have versatility with modification in hardware that you don't have with modification in firmware only. So I talked with Benson and I sent a video link to a custom space mat with the Og Vorbis playback capabilities. And he said, Oh, I don't no longer want just the TMF tones. I want MP3 playback. I found uh, an MP3 player. They all work the same. They need power supply, typically 5 volts. And a serial link for uh, commands. And th there are tons of, uh, of small electronic boards that work on serial commands. And all of these can be attached to any of uh, the Genialis boards. Instead of connecting uh, wires directly onto these pins, I had another project with uh, that mounts this MP3 player. I just cut the PCB here with a jigsaw, a small jigsaw like this, and I ended up with a smaller PCB like this, which holds the MP3 player. You connect three, three wires, a 5 volts power supply, ground and a serial transmission. It has the micro CD card for MP3 files and the speaker output and it has also the power amplifier on same board. And on SpaceMat I removed the, the USB connector, added the switching regulator and 12 volts inputs. This regulates, regulates 5 volts for internal microcontroller and uh, power output to this board or any other 5 volt boards. There are tons of them. And the uh, TX1 serial output from the microcontroller to serial input on the MP3 player. And this mounting hole was uh, useful with some hex spacers. You can use M3 metrical X spacers or 440 imperial spacers and then just use the height you want and the screw to mount it. Here we are going with MP3 player but you can go with the GPS readers, external memories, other bars, whatever as long as they have a serial link. A 
Uh, what about the file system on here? I'll show you. File system on um, micro CD card is uh, two folders and uh, a text file that reminds you what to do, what to put inside the folders. On folder one, you have 32 MP3 files, numbered from 1 to 32. Inside folder 2, you have another set of 32 files, so it's 64 files in total. To generate uh, these files, I used a free text-to-speech software, Bala Bolka, link in the description. And basically, you just type something. And it will uh, read it aloud with some of the um, engine, text to speech engine installed in the operating system, like this. One. You pressed key one. One. You pressed key one. When you are satisfied, you can save it to a file. Save value file. Save. And then it's just a matter of. Uh, of writing a tool, you press K2, save, clear, and so on. Repeat 32 times. And voila, you have 32 MP3 files for testing purposes. And then I did uh, this. Like this, and pressing key one or something like that, and just change the voice to something different so it will sound one. Long press on key one. Other voice. And save this to another folder. And then repeat for long press on key two. For all of them, and there you are, ready to go. And they go onto a micro XCD card and into the MP3 player. You also need a speaker to hear the sound. With such files, it's easy to test. Uh, the board because it will say key one pressed to key 32 for single presses and a different sound for long press like this key one you have pressed key one key two you have pressed key two key three you have pressed key three key four you have pressed key four Key five. And so on. You have key six, key seven, key eight, key nine. The sorry. You have on. pressed key thirty one, key thirty two. You have pressed key thirty two. Instead, if you go long press, it will play another sound. One. Held down key one. Two. Held down key two. Three. Held down key three. Up to 32. 32. Held down key 32. 